Why it has to be a problem though? It's a problem for you. Oh, maybe it's a problem for you though. No, it's your problem. It's not my problem. Oh, it is. No, because if Abraham exists or not, it don't make a difference to me. It makes a difference to you. Can a belief without proof be true? Can a belief without, without proof be true? Yep. Right. I'm asking you a very simple question mm. and it is a yes or no answer. Can a belief without proof be true? Yeah, Can a belief good. without proof be true? Would, would you agree that you are greater? I mean, inshallah. Your thoughts are greater than God. Sorry, guys, I'm born ready, mate. Your born ready. Uh, first of all, my name is Garfield. Garfield. I'm from New York, the Dagger Squad University. Okay, okay. welcome to England. Got a new book about the Black Hebrew Israelites, about misconception and misinformation by the Black Hebrew Israelites, right? So you're a Black Israelite? No. Um, the book is called Misconceptions and Misinformation. Well, you wrote this book. Yeah, I wrote this book. Oh, you wrote this book? Yes. Oh, thank you. Are you giving this to me this book? Huh? Are you giving me this book? No. Why not? No. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> My last copy. Shout out. Uh, how many copies did you bring? I brought 18. Uh, to here? Yeah. Well, give me that one, man. All right, you know what? I'll give you a copy. All right. What, what, before I read this book, what's it going to teach me? Well, it talks about the biblical text from the, the black Hebrew Israelites' cut, um, perspective and misconception. Oh, I'm keeping this. But it does, but it does touch on stuff of the Bible. But let me ask you this. You speak about Abraham a while ago and uh, oh, yeah. Elohim and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Do you look at Abraham as a historical person or is he someone just basically written in the Quran and the Bible to give them an etiology as far as history? No, I believe he's a historical person. All right. Would you? Would, would it be a fair question to ask you, don't put it too close to me, would it be a fair question to ask you evidence to show that the character of Abraham who is in the Quran and the Bible is a historical person? Um, asking me? Yeah. I'm would not it be a fair question? I'm not a historian. Right. But would you believe if, since you believe he's a real person, yeah. is it wrong for me to ask you for evidence that he's Okay, first thing you understand absence of evidence and evidence of absence, yeah? That's Christian talk. No, that's logic. No, it's not logic. Just because, listen, listen oh, stop, stop, there's something stop, stop, stop. called methodology. Stop, 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 stop. The absence of don't mean they don't exist. Stop, stop, stop. When I have a conversation with people, right. I ascertain the caliber of their brain. Right. Okay. Are you saying... Am I in your way? Are you... Just so I understand. Okay. Are you saying absence of evidence is evidence of absence? No, I'm not saying that. You're not saying that? No. All right, continue. All right. I'm saying that Abraham is a figure, is what we call an eponymous ancestor. An eponymous ancestor is somebody that's put in place to give those characters and the people that write the history a particular history or storyline. So you will find stories that are similar within the ancient Near East and even Southern Europe of the same story that's in the Bible. It don't mean copy or yeah, plagiarism. But here's the problem you've got. The people, can I explain the problem you've got? Do you got? believe he's an epo can, 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 can I uh, explain the problem you've got? Okay. Okay. Why it has to be a problem though? It's a problem for you. Oh, <laughs> maybe it's a problem for you though. No, it's your problem. It's not my problem. Oh, it is. No, because if Abraham exists or not, it don't make a difference to me. It makes a difference to you. No, no. <laughs> so it's not a problem for me. It is a problem for you. Yeah. Wait, my friend. Oh, uh, uh, okay. I'm a Muslim. Oh, you are? Okay. And I believe the Quran is the will of Allah. You believe it's the will of Allah. So what if I disagree that it's the will of Allah? It doesn't really matter. Right. So you have a belief then? Yes. So your belief is superior than what's real and what can be proved. Well, if you can demonstrate my belief is false, yeah. Okay. So let's look at it this way. Where did the Quran get Abraham from? No, 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 no. From God. How do you know that? Because I believe the Quran is the will of God. Okay, so you believe, so a belief is superior over logic. So if, if God said two plus two is five, you'd believe that it's five then? God wouldn't do that. No, how do you know that? Because how do you oh, know okay. God is involved? Man wrote it. Listen, I'll let me, explain let me problem, say, let me I'm going to explain another problem. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Now. Let me say for the record. Go on. Any God, any why, why, religion. Why are you shouting? No, oh, I'm shouting. Oh. Well, I'm, I'm here. All right. Any religion or any God that has a name is made by man. Truth Would it. you agree to that? No. Okay. All right, look at this. My man is shaking his head. No. Well, Listen, well, what, 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 one second, one second, one second. What, is, what was your name again? My name is Garfield. Garfield. Yes. Can you talk to me? All right, I'll talk to you. But you're talking to the sky at the moment, and okay. you talk to him. And he's not even talking to you. I'm talking to you. All right. So at least have the decency to talk to me. Okay. All right, so let me say this. 
Abraham as a historical figure, you believe that because the Quran says it, right? Yes. So you don't need any proof from anything? No. You don't see your belief? Yes. All right. I told you it was a problem for you. Garfield, have a lovely day. Shortest debate ever. Peace and love. Enjoy my book. Yeah. But if you were clever, you'd challenge my proof. You would challenge the Quran. But guess what? You can't. Have a lovely day. No. I can't. Yeah, yeah. Well, you say it's a reluctant thing. Don't say that way. Don't say if it's a belief thing. I'll do it in Oh, okay. Let me ask you a question. Yes. Can a belief without proof be true? Can a belief without without proof be true? Yep. Not, well, technically, if we look at a belief, it's a belief. That's what its purpose. It's faith. Can I believe? Hoping, can I believe? You're hoping that the Quran is true. You don't know if it's true. Can I believe without can proof be true? Can you guarantee me that what the Quran says is can true? Can I believe without proof be true? Can I believe without proof be true? Yeah. That's a that's a vague question. It's vague in a way that let me tell you why it's vague. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you why it's vague. I'm gonna tell you why it's vague. Because I deal with methodology, I deal with science, I deal with probabilities. Now there's a probability something might be true. There's a probability. That's our historians. Garfield. Piece. But I, you can say Garfield. based on a book Garfield. that you weren't there to Garfield. read. Garfield. 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 I'm gonna start calling you Boris. Okay. Right, even though you're not from here, if you don't stop waffling. Oh, well, listen, listen. He said don't stop waffling. Honestly, honestly, because you're waffling completely. All right. I'm asking you a very simple question, mm. and it is a yes or no answer. Can a belief without proof be true? <laughs> can a belief without proof be true? No, he gave it to us. At this moment, I can't answer that. No, you know why? Well, it's a yes or no answer. No, it's not. It's a yes or no question. Ask me the question. It's a yes or no question. It is a yes or no. No, it is a yes or no. Ask me the question. It's not for me because I'm thinking of something from a probability. There's a probability. No, 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 no. It has to do with history. Has to do with probability. No, 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 no. And I deal with history. Let's just demonstrate. Can I believe without proof be true? Yes. Yes. Can I believe without proof be true? Yes. Can a belief without proof be true? It, it could the, be, it's a possibility. Because that thing you believe in may be Think true. Think about it before you answer. It can, it can Thank you, thank you. Be. Right. But that is no reason to believe. No, 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 no. I agree, I agree. I agree, I agree, I agree with you. Right. So as Garfield said, there's a possibility. No, 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 he didn't say that. Yes, I said he a did, probability. He didn't. Did. No, no, no. Oh, all right, I'll ask again the question. A yes or no answer. It's a yes or no answer. Can I believe without proof be true? I'm not answering that. Can I believe without proof be true? The reason I say it, that so it can. That's it, that's the answer. You hear what I'm saying? That's yes. I'm saying the same. No, I'm not saying it is true. I didn't say that. You never you said that. Saying? I didn't say that. So there is a possibility that it can be true. So the answer is yes. yes. Let me finish, man. What I'm saying to you is the same way if you were to ask the question in the opposite way, can I believe without, be, without right. proof be false? Yes. yes. What's your, what, what's your name, my friend? Yes. So we really one second, one second. What, I'll, tell you what, it's not, I'll, I'll demonstrate to you right now that what you've just said is that a nonsense? How's that? That, that I believe without proof. No, what you've false. just said now. That I believe without that proof. Me, be false. That me. No, what I just question. No, no. I'm going to demonstrate to you right now that you claiming that my question is a nonsense question. Yes, it is a nonsense question. Uh, I'm going to demonstrate that's complete nonsense. Go ahead. Okay. Do you know what the belief is? Do you know what I'm asking you when I say, do you believe this thing? What am I asking you? If I accept something as true without evidence or proof. So why is that a nonsense question? I didn't say that was a nonsense question. Well, it's the same you question. Ask me what I believe in. You no, 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 no. Uh, here's your problem. You ask me Gaffin, if I believe Gaffin. without proof. No, you're not going. You're Gaffin. Gaffin. What's your name, my friend? <laughs> <laughs> All of us are gone. What's that? 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 Come, 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 come. Come into my parlor, said the spider to the fly. Don't worry about the number of mics. I'm nobody here. All right, 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 right. right. I'm asking this question, and the problem you've got is that you're trying to anticipate why I'm asking the question. I didn't. No, you are. I didn't. You're doing it subconsciously, mate. I didn't. <laughs> oh, oh, I did not. Oh, okay, so the why would you answer this? I, I, I answered right. you and I said, just the same way you asked it, no. i.e., can I, can I believe without proof be, be true. true? The answer and is? Saying, just the same, you can ask. Well, that's not I, the answer. Are you trying, you, are you, you said it's a yes or no answer. answer. I gave you a, a, a straight yes or no answer. Are you saying this? That's so it then. Saying, so That's it then. Very much so. So what I'm saying is, just the same way you can ask the question, can a belief without proof be false? Yes. Yes, it can. Yes. So it's a nonsense question. Why is it nonsense? Because it doesn't. There's nothing to learn from but, that. Well, there is. Go ahead. Right. Go ahead. So, so let me repeat the question. You answer. You give me. Your, give me the same answer, and we can continue. Okay. Can a belief without proof be true? Yes. Right. How could you test a belief to its truthfulness if you don't need proof for it? Sorry? How would you test a belief for its truthfulness if there's no proof required? By using a dictionary. 
No. What? Because if you look up the definition of true in a dictionary, it will tell you that a belief can be considered as true. Alright. Did you hear my so question? So using a simple this dictionary... Did you, did, did you hear my question? Simple as I heard the question and I just answered well, 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 you. Oh, what was my question? I'm using a dictionary. How does that answer like my question? you don't like the answers because they don't fall into what you want Were you, well, you not answering the question I asked you? The well, question well, you well, asked me is, without well, proof, well, how can you... Without proof, how can you demonstrate no, a belief to be true? Yes. Hola, hola, and I hola, said, hola. use a dictionary. How was that? Look up the definition oh, of belief oh, okay, in okay, a dictionary. Okay, okay, okay. okay. What's that? What's that? What's that? All right, all right, all right. What's that? No, what's that? What's that? What's that? Because a belief right, right. can be true to you subjectively. Okay, okay. So it's your you know what this boils down to? Let me just... One second, one second, Garfield. Garfield. Abraham. Garfield. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. Because I question Abraham belief. Garfield. You see, when you question Abraham to a Muslim, they get offended. No, we don't. Yes, you do. No, we don't. So now, what he does... No, we don't! These guys are my brothers, by the way. Let me say that. One second, one second. Well, I'm not having that. I'm not having that. No, 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 no. One watch second. It, no, 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 no. Watch, 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 watch this. If you're Abraham, who's a Muslim here? Who's a Muslim here? Yeah. Does anybody get offended when he talks about Abraham? No. All right. Okay. Who is the father? No. Of, who is the father? Is it wrong for me to question if Abraham existed? Is it wrong no. for me to do well, that? No. no is it is it good to ask? Right. Is it a good yeah. question to ask? If so let's go back to the point. Can you give me definition? All right, all right. So let's leave. I believe that's all I'm asking. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Let's demonstrate. Let's demonstrate. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to demonstrate your answer. Makes no sense, yeah? You ready? No, brother, Do you believe your father's your father? No, I know he's my father. How do you know? Because I I have his DNA. Ha, have, have you had the DNA test? I have, I have, I have the record. One second, one second, one second. I have his blood type. One second, one second, one second. I, have you had a DNA oh, test? Yeah, I've had a DNA You've test. You've had a DNA yeah. test? Yes. Really? Yes. Oh, okay, fantastic. <laughs> um, do you, do you, no, it's good, it's good. I, I know my father. Oh, my father oh, 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 okay. Look you come from the US, him. isn't it? No, I was born in Birmingham. Oh, you're from here? Yeah, so who's the one presuming now? Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm just going to be accident. Okay. Do you believe your doctor's a doctor? We're going in circles, man. We're going in circles. They're splitting hairs. I grew up with my doctor. I know the doctor. I know the school oh, okay. my doctor um, graduated oh, okay. from. Okay, fantastic. My doctor do you, do, you ever, do you ever fly to America? Do you hear what I'm saying? Do you ever fly you're to America? Just, just really and truly talking. Do you, do you ever fly yeah. to America? Sorry? Do you ever fly anywhere? That's dude Abraham. Yeah, I've fly, I fly, I flown. I've flown to Jamaica. Flown so to when you fly to Jamaica, uh, do you know your pilot is a qualified pilot? All, this for all, I, for all I know, it could be Papa Smurf flying the plane. I've not been in a cockpit. <laughs> so, what, so, but you believe he's a pilot? Oh man! All over the simple question about Abraham. A simple question about Abraham. You know what I didn't hear? I didn't hear a dictionary. I was waiting for the dictionary. So you're preempting again. The best thing is. Why do you keep saying things like you're making a proficient point when you're not? What is your point? Where is your All point? Right. I can see let me, let me, point. Let me make it easy. Right. Let me make it easy. Point, go, go. Can a belief without proof be true? Yes. Right. How can you demonstrate a belief is true if there's no proof required? Who said there's no proof required? Well, you can. Uh, With Abraham, we, 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 there's, there's ways to I find out if Abraham exists. Uh, 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 now he's going to demonstrate how to prove a belief is true without <laughs> evidence. No, no. <laughs> I, <laughs> okay. Nonsense, man. Right. Nonsense. It's craziness. Yeah. The people are listening to this guy. Listen, yes. if you can't prove Abraham existed to the historical record, you don't know. The Quran I mean, the Quran's the proof all I need. Okay. The Quran is all the proof I need. Is the Quran, how do you know the Quran is true if you don't have nothing archaeologically historical? I don't need to back it. it up? I don't need uh, it. What about Mecca? When was Mecca? When, when did Mecca start to exist? I, I don't need it. Why? You could go to the archaeological record and find it out. When did it start to exist? He never asked you whether bro, you need it or not. He asked you how Mecca, do you know? I, Mecca never existed before a certain time period. We know that because of the archaeological record. What was it called? What was it called? We know that. So if you have a faith, when did Mecca start to exist? I, I, I don't debate faith. When did Mecca start to exist? Faith. Hey, hold on to your faith. When did Mecca start to exist? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'll say to you, what do you believe? What do you believe? No, don't, don't, don't cut him up like that. Let him finish. Whoa, 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 whoa. You, you know your ghost, your ghost, your ghost. Be quiet. I believe. I speak in the mother. Hey, hey, I speak in hey. your name in your mother's way. Your ghost. <laughs> Shut up. I'm not. I'm not Italian. <laughs> no, you're Greek. He said a hey, point. Now. You're Greek. Listen, 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 listen. You're Greek. Listen, listen. And this is, this, is, this is for anybody who is taping. Right. Hold on one second. Calvin, what do you believe, mate? We have, I believe my mother and father created a beautiful human being. That's uh, what do you, I believe. Do, do you, oh, watch this. Hold on, hold on. Let me finish. Let me no, finish. no, I want to know. I want to know. Finish. I want to know about this. Garfield knows everything. Let me finish. I want to know about this. Garfield knows everything. You think you're trying to throw a monkey wrench? This is the point I'm trying to make what? to you. What's I'm the not point? What's the point? I'm not going to debate you. Have a lovely day. 
I'm, I'm, not, I'm not debating. Have a day then. Hold on, I'm just let me make a point. Well, I'm not debating you if all you're relying on is faith. That's why I'm leaving. Okay. So I deal with archaeological information, I know you history, did. anthropology, I linguistics, I know and genetics. Did. So now you're asking my man about genetics. It has nothing to do with faith. He could prove that his father is father to DNA. No, but if he has it, but has he? That's not, Have he, you he proven your father's your father? Yes. You've proven it? Yes. You have a DNA test? Yes. Did you grow up with your doctor as well? He's challenging. Grew up with my doctor. What do you like mean? Like he did. He grew up with his doctor. He knows he's a doctor. When you go to the doctors, do you believe your doctor's a doctor or do you know he's a doctor? Do I believe he's a doctor? Yeah, or do you know he has, he's a doctor? He, he's a, his credentials are on the How do you know? No, 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 all right, right, we right. We see right, his right. credentials, he shows his credentials. That's not proof. But that doesn't have proof. nothing. You see, you're trying to trying to use a modern day argument. No, I'm not. We're not talking about I'll tell you what I'm doing. Existed. Watch this, watch this, watch this, family. That's Mecca, century. we could prove Mecca existed because of the archaeological records. Yes. The time period now is a problem for the Quranic believers because Mecca didn't exist when the Quran says it existed. When did the Quran now, say it existed? Now, now, watch this, watch this, watch this. Well, if Abraham didn't exist your Quran is null and void well no at the time period hold on hold on here's a problem you got hold on one second let me finish no don't let me finish let me oh I'm finished look at him running running oh man let's go we are go 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 come on bro when you're ready I'm ready for you yeah 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 check me out at Tiger Squad University some real information yeah 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 all right all right all right so here's a problem we got right Garfield came in and the video's full so everyone can watch it from the beginning so Garfield came in asking me for proof of Abraham's existence. I said to him, are you saying absence of evidence is evidence of absence? He says no, because that'd be a logical fallacy. So just because you don't have evidence of something doesn't mean that thing doesn't exist. Then he asked me, so why do I believe Abraham existed? I said the Quran. Now that, I don't believe the Quran is just on faith. Ah, subhanallah, I've been a Muslim 20 years. I debate so many people on Islam and Christianity and the idea of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam being messenger of God and the Quran being the word of Allah. So for me, that's the authority. I don't need an archaeologist to tell me whether this or that. Then what Abraham thought, he thought this belief thing was some kind of abstract concept. So he started to say, oh, it's just a belief, it's just a belief. So then we said, well, can a belief without proof be true? The answer is, of course, a belief without proof can be true. But the problem you've got is, how would you test a belief, to, whether it's true or not, if no proof is required? Then, of course, you need to understand the reasons for that belief. So the example I would always use is, do you believe your father's your father? Now, most people have not had a DNA test, and I don't believe he has. I don't believe he grew up with his doctor, and I don't believe that. I had some guys say the same thing, and he knew the pilot as well. Anyway, so the point, the principle is this. We don't know everything. We do not go through our lives needing to know everything. We have to believe many things. We have to believe our doctor qualified to be a doctor. We have to believe our pilot can fly a plane. We have to believe our mother was chased and my father is indeed my father. And we could then bring the reasons for that belief. So with regards to the father, I believe my mother was chased. I look like my father, I have the same mannerisms, family testimony, and such and such and such, which will then give me a basis for my belief. Now you can challenge my belief if you like, and the only way you could do that is challenge the reasons I'm holding my belief. So if, for example, I say I believe my father was my father because my mother was a chaste woman, and then you bring me foot, a video evidence of my mother cheating on my father, then I've got to question that particular reason. Oh, that's gone now. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I look like him. Well, your dad's brother looks like him. So you can, the only way you can test a belief is to look at the reasons of holding that belief and challenge those reasons. If you can't challenge those reasons, it's done. Why did I bring this forward? Because when I said the Quran is my authority, all he has to do is challenge why I believe the Quran is an authority. But he can't do that. And that's the only point I was making. Then his mate tried to get involved. And when I ask him, how would you demonstrate a belief is true without proof? You get a dictionary. What the hell was that about? I don't know. Welcome back to Speaker's Corner. Over a year absence, and this is what I'm returning to. SubhanAllah. Salaamu Alaikum.